business for good means to me that once again, you know, the, I think one of the prime responsibility of the business is to create social wealth. So I think, you know, so that is, I will say, the big concept of the business for good, that because a lot of the time businesses, they get, I think, lost in making money as opposed to understanding that the purpose of the business is to create social wealth so that collectively it is something that's going to bring the you know, society forward, right? So business from good to, mean, to me means getting into the activities that will add to that social wealth you know, in a big way. And then of course the other side of that is uh, business for good is uh, I think uh, that you know, what people think that business for good is like for philanthropy and for doing good things. It's not that, it is making sure that uh, there is first of all that you are doing something that's responsible, you are doing something that's going to add to the social wealth and you are going to do something that's not going to hurt or going to take advantage of somebody else. That to me is the big picture of business for good. I think the biggest, you know, some of the challenges are that uh, at the end of the day, I mean, while well, I understand that there should be a social wealth, I think some of the challenges are that the business have to make money. And particularly, I think in a capitalistic market, where market is driving something, the biggest challenge is this making the quarter and looking at the shareholders' wealth and maximizing the stock price, which I think forces the businesses to lose sight of their big picture. That why was it started? You know, what was the purpose? And in the long run, that is what that needs to be satisfied by the business, right? But if they lose that in this entire, oh, we have to make money, we have to make the quarter, I think that's probably the biggest challenge for the businesses that being very short-term oriented, particularly if they're operating, as I said, in a free market you know, economy. So that I think is the biggest challenge. And, um, and having um, the leadership at the top kind of not paying attention to that and paying attention to the final objective and the goal that's extremely difficult. That's because the incentive structure is also skewed towards them for meeting the short-term goals. I think that's number one. Number two is, um, again, going back to the philanthropy part or you know, the responsible part, oftentimes businesses think it's expensive, and sometimes it is expensive. Sometimes it is you know, going to need some kind of capital expenses you know, right up front. But once again, if you do not lose your eye on the ball, so to say, I think eventually it is going to pay off. But that perseverance, that vision, and being able to stay there, I think that's probably the biggest challenge because people give up and say, oh, this is too expensive. This is too you know, philanthropic. This is too liberal. And then they kind of you know, go back to money-making opportunities. Putting the incentive structure in the, in the corporate level, making sure that the incentive structure is actually tied to the right cause and the right signals. Um, as long as incentive structure is tied to short-term profit, then I think it's going to be very difficult. Um, getting people educated about you know, what is business for good, Business for good doesn't mean philanthropy. Business for good doesn't mean that you have to get into NGOs. Business for good doesn't mean nonprofit. You know, you can be extremely profitable and doing something good. You know, something again, and as I said, that adds to the overall social wealth, right? I mean, you know, I can bring in solar panel and I'm sure you know, a lot of the people will say, oh, but you know, there is a flip side of that. You know, the carbon emission that happens when you are manufacturing that. But at the end of the day, I think it's again, you know, everybody who's thinking of the solar panel, you know, the DWPs, they have their heart at the right place. They are trying to, you know, uh, minimize the energy usage. They're trying to kind of, you know, preserve the water, conservation. I think all of those kind of things, you know, Understanding that, being educated about it, and uh, quick wins.